what is up leo welcome to your weekly general timeless reading these are timeless so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you it could be something that you already went through something you're currently going through or something you are about to go through so please keep that in mind these are also general readings so they might not resonate for everybody um pieces of them might resonate um why am i blinking all of a sudden my brain is just like going dead on me and um, if they do resonate, that's great. Go ahead, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter as well. Also, if you are new or not new to tarot, I did create a video about what signs to watch and why, as well as other interesting facts about these tarot readings on YouTube. It is called How to Interpret Tarot. I've linked it down below in the description box. And if you want to book a personal reading or Reiki session, you can go and do so through my website in the description box down below. It is Eastern Standard Time in US dollars. And if you want to become a patron, you can go ahead and check that out as well. I do the monthly readings, energy shift readings, weekly Patreon readings, retrograde readings, and a lot of other kinds of readings on there. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to tap into spiritual stuff, if you want to learn about how to work through your ascension you want to hear about my journey how i shield my energy things like that i do mentoring throughout my readings on patreon i talk a lot about spirituality on there um so if that's kind of the guidance you're looking for that's definitely the platform for you Go ahead, check that out. November 15th to the 30th, I am having a Thanksgiving promotion for all new tier two and tier three patrons that sign up. Do you get a free 15 minute recorded reading from me? So go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, Leo, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow and I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's see. What's going on for my Leos? Leo, I actually felt a lot of your energy in the Aries reading. A lot of your energy in the Aries reading. Which was very strange. I don't know if some of you are dealing with an Aries or have strong Aries in your chart. You guys are all fire signs, so that could be why too. I'm also using Revelations Tarot. All the tarot decks I use are gonna be linked down below. Show me what you need to see for Leo, please. I literally just heard open me up for Leo. It's like, okay, I guess, I guess we can say it like that. Higher self, that's cool too. My higher self is like my rebellious side, like my teenager version of me, which was crazy. She's not as laid back as adult me. <laughs> She's definitely not adult me. <laughs> Yeah, you're going through a lot of heart space opening. Yep, six, <laughs> six of swords. I like that. That's moving to calmer waters. That is moving away from conflict. So that is a lot of heart space opening for me. I don't want you to get too in your head about it. Don't overthink things. Yeah, don't overthink things. We'll get there. We'll get there. I'm going to hold off for a second before I get to the next card. They're not bad. They're not bad. They're really not. You got the fool in reverse. That's the only thing that like, I just feel like a lot of fear of the change, a lot of fear of the change, a lot of fear of the change. And then we have the page of pentacles. Um, it feels really good, Leo. It does. This fool in reverse is what hit me like a freight train. That's why I just paused and there's something about it. When we get clarifiers, I feel like I'm just going to get like cards throwing up all over that fool in reverse. I just feel like an eight of swords on it like crazy. Wow, you go from a page of pentacles to a king of pentacles. You're going to be moving forward very quickly, which is really nice. And we have five of pentacles. And strength. Any final messages? I think that's what we're ending on. That's where we're ending. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we don't need that. That's not for you. I'm not gonna use this deck. I actually really wanna use... Let's use Manga. 
Manga Tarot. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords Aquarius energy with the Fool. That's Uranus Aquarius energy. So you are moving forward into a new chapter. I just feel some hesitance for the new that's coming your way. And I do feel it's coming toward you. Even though it's like you're moving... I don't, I don't think that you're aware that you're moving in this new direction. I kind of feel like you're being shoved in this new direction. I think that you're going about your day-to-day -day life and things are happening around you that are kind of forcing you to head in this new direction. You're kind of like, I didn't expect this to happen right now. I wasn't expecting these people to leave or these things to come toward me or these things to change. And I'm kind of being thrown into this new chapter and I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm kind of stuck accepting it. It kind of feels like that. And that's why I feel like there's some fear around this new beginning, but it feels positive. It feels very good. Cause look where you're heading. You're going from a page of pentacles to a king of pentacles. That's someone who's learning how to build a very stable foundation to someone who's mastering the building of a stable foundation. And now my throat's getting dry, hold on. <laughs> I don't want you getting your, I was feeling the getting in the head on the fool. And the only reason I think the five of pentacles came out is because I think this is a brand new energy for you to be in. I don't think that you're accustomed to feeling this very stable, this very confident king of pentacles. I know my worth. I know what I'm capable of. I'm creating this. I'm creating this empire. I'm financially free. I can actually afford X, Y, Z. I can, it's not even just about money though. Like a king of pentacles is someone who feels safe and secure in not only the material world, but their own skin, right? King of Pentacles knows how to bring things into the physical, is really good at manifesting, is a perfect partner, right? They know how to attract the perfect partner. They're really good in relationships. They're very grounded, they're calm. Their anxiety isn't like through the roof anymore. They're in, like, and Leo, like you're, in, you're known as the strength card. You're known as like this very dramatic, like think of like a lion. When I say dramatic, I don't mean like you're a drama queen all the time, but like think of a lion. Like when you see a lion, like just walking, like that's a very dramatic scene. Like a king of pentacles is very regal, very calm, very like poised. You're learning how to balance those two energies very nicely. And I think that's why this fear of losing it, the five of pentacles creeps in. It's because it, it's right between your strength energy, your lion energy and the king of pentacles. You have this five of pentacles of like, what What if I lose my king of pentacles energy? What if I can't sustain this? What if I, what, I don't find the equilibrium between both of these? Don't worry about the what if, okay? Just let things flow. Cause the universe pushed you into the king of pentacles for a reason. There's a reason you're in this energy, just like there's a reason you're a Leo, right? So you're gonna find a way to balance it, but if you fall into the fear of losing it, of not being able to sustain it, you're just gonna feed that fear. And where's fear rooted in? It's rooted in the ego, right? So we don't want to feed that limiting belief because that's all it is. It's false evidence appearing real, fear, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. It's not true. It's not a fact. It's fear, okay? So just take a deep breath. Woosa. Okay, chill out. You okay? You're okay. Five of Pentacles is Taurus energy, King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, and the strength of Leo energy. Page of Pentacles is Earth energy, by the way. My chair's stuck. I'm being stuck on my chair mat. That makes no sense. What the hell is the point of a chair mat? It's getting stuck on it. Hmm. really good place Leo they literally just showed me like someone sitting and it's just like it looks like complete chaos around you like let's say you're sitting in this chair and someone's like spinning you and spinning you and spinning you and it looks like chaos but if you were to sit and stop spitting what's around you is actually like 
pure abundance like it's absolutely gorgeous and the only reason it looks like chaos is because you're just spinning yourself around in complete freaking circles just stop spinning for a second and take a breath and just calm the frick down just calm down just chill out you don't have to go 100 miles per hour let's look at the six of swords <laughs> so funny yeah hierophant in reverse you're literally moving into a lesson. That's all this is. With the Hierophant in reverse, you're moving right into a lesson. You're like, damn it, really? Another? Jordan, stop it. Stop giving me lessons. <laughs> I, I feel like all the eye rolls that just came at me like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Another? They never stop. They never stop. I promise you. I have lessons every day. We all have lessons every day because every day we have more experiences. Every experience is a lesson, guys. Come on now. I just learned how not to kill a plant this morning by killing a plant, so. Womp womp. My poor peace lily. She's not so peaceful right now. Exactly, you're learning the lesson <laughs> of slowing down. Of slowing down. Of taking a breather. I'm not going 100 miles per hour. The spinning, the spinning, the spinning, the spinning. You're learning the lesson of slowing down, of allowing yourself to rest. Mm. You don't have to do everything so quickly. It doesn't have to happen as, as fast as you want, right? Yeah, because the fool, look at this. Your brand new beginning. It's taking you out of your Leo energy for a little bit. It's taking you out of your normal energy as you move forward. Because on the Fool is your Six of Swords, right? And it's bringing you into this very stable, working, working, working King of Pentacles energy. So Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, Six of Swords, Aquarius energy. No more Leo energy. It's making you feel very raw, very vulnerable, very... Um, it is making you feel a little insecure because you're not because you're vulnerable right you're not you're not in your element is really what's going on here but it's happening for you to step into a new way of being you're only going to learn when you're out of your comfort zone so spirit's like okay well here's leo's comfort zone we're gonna take her or him and we're gonna pluck him and put him over here in a king of pentacles energy for a little bit and we're gonna see how leo does outside of their comfort zone so that's what's happening so now you're a page because pages are students you're learning how to basically recalibrate in an earth energy versus a fire energy so let's see how you do as a page of pentacles let's see what you're building and for some of you, it could just be the way you perceive the world. Instead of having that fire energy of always working through like emotions and your passions. Yeah. Instead of having that fire energy of always working through your emotions and your passions. Knight of Wands. You're learning to be more practical, more stable, less impulsive. And see things from different perspectives. And kind of, it's almost like you're filtering a little better. Not saying that maybe some of you don't really filter, but I'm just saying you might be filtering your connections more. You might be able to say, okay, well maybe the way I pursued that project or that connection or that conversation or that argument, maybe I was being too wounded. Maybe that was my limiting belief and I was projecting that onto that person. Maybe I was not being practical. Maybe I could have built this business this way instead of rushing, rushing, rushing. Maybe I was holding on too much to my manifestation and I was holding on too much to a sense of control and I wasn't really allowing things to unfold the way that they needed to, right? You're seeing it through a different lens. That's what spirit's teaching you, the different lens. Because you have a king of wands in reverse. They're literally taking you all out of fire energy and putting you in earth energy. I thought it was a knight of wands. It's a king of wands. So Leo energy. So you have both Leo energy, the strength card, and the king of wands in reverse. Completely out of Leo energy. It just, it's just out of your element, which is crazy. I don't think I've ever had a reading like this. It's all about your limiting beliefs. 
and it's all about your limiting beliefs anything that's blocked you it's giving you a brand new perspective because it's showing you how you might have stood might have stood in your own way with the reality you might have been trying to create for yourself especially with the devil in reverse the eight of wands is literally my blocked card it's showing you because think of it this way i actually had a reading like this on patreon i think it was the weekly reading for this week actually um even though these are timeless it wasn't on, on patreon i don't do timeless i do weekly readings so the week i'm doing this so the 20 it was the 22nd to the 28th today is the 23rd um it was actually for this particular week it was talking about how sometimes we all have masculine and feminine energy and one of those energies is primarily dominant so for myself i'm a dominant masculine it doesn't mean that i don't have feminine but majority of the time i might favor my masculine energy because it's my dominant energy it's teaching myself though to tap into my feminine more to create that more balanced equilibrium between the two right and so that's kind of what spirit's doing here you're so accustomed to being in this leo 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 fire impulsive energy spirit's like well maybe you haven't realized how that fire that impulsive energy has stood in the way and created a very toxic block for you maybe you might have been because the king of wands in reverse is someone who at times can can be a little pushy they can be someone who is a little snippy can be very manipulative at times sometimes even emotionally manipulative when they're in their shadow because this is someone's shadow and this is how your shadow might have blocked you so you might have had abandonment that creative that created wounding you might have had issues in your connections that blocked you from creating very stable foundations and so by tapping into a king of pentacles energy that's king of pentacles is the perfect partner card because this does feel around relationships i'm just gonna be honest it does feel around relationships some of you it's your material world it feels more about limiting beliefs and relationships though tapping into this energy it does and i think it's giving you a new perspective about how to communicate because it does feel but from the throat space because my throat has been dry this whole reading how to communicate and articulate how you feel, what you want and what you expect from your connections, but also understanding the other party involved, their perspective. Because it's almost like putting yourself in the other person's shoe might have not been something that you were too fond of doing in the past and maybe you're learning to do it more often. Not saying you didn't do it, but maybe you're learning to do it more often than you had previously, okay? So let's look at the King of Pentacles. Yeah, high priestess. You're tapping into a higher consciousness. Exactly. You're evolving. I love this. I love this. High priestess, Pisces energy. That's also balancing polarities. The high priestess is about the yin and the yang. In traditional tarot, the high priestess has the black and the white pillar behind her. It's about the masculine and the feminine energy. It's balancing the two, which is exactly what I was just talking about. Very nice. And there's the emperor energy and the ten of cups in reverse. You're learning how to be the very stable partner in your connections and you're looking back on connections that might have fallen apart because maybe you wanted them a certain way and had expectations about how people should have been loving you, how people should have been treating you, when in all reality, maybe there are things that your other party was expecting as well that you weren't doing right it's a two-way street kind of thing and i think you're finally filtering that well maybe my expectation wasn't being met but maybe also my other person's expectation wasn't being met and maybe that's where the disconnect was happening maybe both of our expectations weren't being met and that wasn't being communicated you know what i'm saying it's not that you were in the wrong or they were in the wrong it's not that anybody was in the wrong it's just that there wasn't a communication about what you were expecting and to be quite frank, expectations shouldn't even be had, right? We need to express what your love language is to your partner, right? Whether it be a friend, a family member, a romantic partner, does not ma matter. You need to express that, but you also need to be very open energetically and emotionally and verbally with the people around you that you have these connections with if you want to have a true Ten of Cups, you know? You can't expect them to read your mind. So let's look at the five of pentacles this feeling of loss oh this is way too many it was like a whole stack there we go yeah seven of wands okay and then you get into this very defensive energy well what if i lose them now what if i lose them now i think that energy comes in because now you you might realize you might it's like i've actually been in this 
because we all go through this. This is this is a very common thing when you go through this looking at your side of the street because I'll totally own it. I was very codependent in my relationships years ago. And when I looked at why I was codependent and I reflected on that and I did all my healing from it, I got very defensive because I was like, damn, I know I have the tendency to be X, Y, Z. I don't want to do that. I don't want to ruin this. I don't want to sabotage. Let me put the shield around me because what if I do ruin it? What if I do do that again? And then you, you, you worry, you freak out, right? You need to not do that. That. don't put yourself in that bubble have the faith and say you know what I know my behaviors I know my habits I recognize them so now when I recognize them if they do happen I, I can literally say you know what I'm sorry I just said that I know that's a habit of mine I'm trying to work through that habit I'm sorry that I did XYZ I'm still working on breaking that and that's not fair to you because blah 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 you get what I'm saying like verbalizing that to that person alone is not only going to show them that you're aware of it, but it's also going to show them that you're working on it. Genuinely. I'm sorry this is kind of like a mini therapy session, but it's kind of what this is. <sighs> this is not an easy one. This is a very hard one because this is, this is like all dynamics with people, but that's that new moon Scorpio energy that we're going through. It's a lot of relationship healing. And let's look at strength. Because th this is you back in your energy. Two of Pentacles and a Ten of Wands. Yeah, see now you have the clarity. You're not going back and forth anymore and you're able to close out that cycle of the Ten of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Sorry guys, I thought my phone was on. Do not disturb. In the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. And as soon as you have this realization, you're back on your path and you move forward. You get to expand Jupiter energy because Jupiter right now is trying to expand us onto our paths. The sun is sextile Jupiter, the ju the, the, jun. <laughs> the sun, sextile Jupiter, sextile is about opportunity. Jupiter is about expansion. That whole aspect is trying to gift you, trying to bring in very large opportunities of abundance, of growth, of expansion on your spiritual path, your work path, your relationships, love, all that jazz, right? But it's gonna happen after you close out the cycle, after you realize your old habits, your old patterns, right? Because the aspects that this whole reading was covered was like Venus square Jupiter, Venus square Pluto. Squares are all about challenges and obstacles and Venus is love. Venus is relationships. Venus square, Jupiter and Pluto. Jupiter and Pluto are all about expansion and transformation. So Venus square, Jupiter has to do with basically like the challenges you have within your relationships and why they aren't expanding and growing and moving to the places you want them to go. And with Pluto, it has to do with the changes going on, allowing them to release, allowing them to come to an end, allowing them to transform in the way you want them to. And why aren't they? Like what obstacles are you facing? What, what collaborations need to happen or what needs to end? What needs to die? What changes within you need to happen in order for them to change? Okay, so this is a lot of square energy going on right here. Just saying, just letting you know. Um, but it's leading, leading you to a brand new cycle, to all this expansion, to all this change. The Wheel of Fortune is good luck. It's abundance. It's brand new beginnings. It's a 10. You have two 10s back to back. That's cyclic energy. I love it. I love it. Love it, Leo. I know it's a heavy reading. You have a lot of majors, a lot of majors. Um, major arcana are universal energies. This is a big, big shift. I'm very excited for you. If you want uh, a personal reading or a Reiki session, please book it down below. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye.